Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lesson. I hope everybody is safe and very healthy. Please, dear students, keep doing your morning exercise. Keep doing your breath exercise. Wash your hands constantly and eat your healthy, healthy food. So today is the story time. Story time, come back again. And I have another book here for you to read today. And the book is about... Yes, what sinks, what floats. I know, you already know this experiment, right? What sinks, what floats. We made observation with you about sink and float. But let's review again, okay, to know better about sink and float. So, the book is written by Roseanne Legic and illustrated by Rubin Bayar. So, and what do you see? You see the boy, the fish tank, and many things, right? Look, rock, sponge, crayon, boat, apple. Good job. Let's start to read. What sinks, what floats? Let's review again. Rock, sponge, crayon, apple, boat. Good. Keep repeat with me, okay? We have a fish tank in our classroom. Dear students, do you remember our fish tank in our classroom? And with, with Mickey fish? She's okay, don't worry, I care about Mickey. Some things sink in the water. And what do you see? You see how is the boy is sitting like crisscross applesauce, right? And you see how is the girl and the boy are observing what floats and what sinks, right? Good. Seashells sink. You see the seashell? Stones sink to the bottom too. Do you see those stones? Good. Some things float on the water. Little plants float on the water. Do you see? Good. Fish food floats too. Do you see the fish food? You see how is the boy feeding the fish? Yes, let's count how many fish do you see? One, two, three. Good job. Good job. Oops, our teacher dropped a pencil. Will the pencil sink or float? Dear student, what's your prediction? How do you think? Will the pencil sink or float? Let's find out. Look, the pencil floats. Wow. What things sink? We wanted to know. What things float? We wanted to know. Seems the students wanted to know everything, right? Let's find out, said our teacher. Wow, super. And what does she have? Her type of water. Yes. We helped our teacher find some things. Wow. Let's see what did they find. Eraser, block, rock, sponge, crayon, apple, key, coin, Bowl, boat. Yes. First, we guessed what would sink or float. And this is our prediction chart. Let's review. Sink side. Rock, key, apple, coin, block. Float side. Crayon, sponge, bowl, eraser, boat. Wow, so good. Next, we tested our things in the water. Look, the key and the coin sink at the bottom. The eraser, the crayon, and the rock sink too. Do you see? 
good job. The block and the ball float. The apple and sponge and the boat float too. Do you see, guys, what floats? Yes. Our result. Then we showed our result. This is what actually happened after the experiment. Let's see. Sink side. Rock, key, crayon, coin, and what is that? Eraser. Float side. Apple, block, sponge, bowl, boat. This is the chart with results, right? Here are some more things. What will sink? What will float? Dear yes, students, this is your homework. And this is all the thing on the page. Please, you can try at home to do this experiment. If you have those things, you can use this. If you don't have, you can use something else. And let's review. What is this? Branch, spoon, spoon, leaf, nail, marble, seashell, feeder, car, paper clip, uh, craft stick, pine corn. So do you see that? So dear students, I also draw all these pictures on the paper. So you can do like this if you want. And for example, um, if the things, for example, sink, you can just cross out it. If the things float, you just make circle. It is the easy way, okay? So, and dear students, after when you do your experiment, post it on the Facebook and share it with your friends. And also, I want to say to all of you, thank you, dear students, for all your participation. You all did a great job today. I'm so proud of you, okay? And thank you for the calendar, dear parents and dear students. Please, dear students, participate and uh, on the calendar every day, okay? And we will review with you the calendar during the lessons. So thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you the next lesson. Bye. Love you.